Hi, and welcome to Industry Update, your source for the latest news in the ad specialty industry. I'm Dave Vagnoni. In this episode, a key economic indicator improves in September, and a Texas distributor responds quickly to a bizarre accident. But we begin with a new division for a large industry company. Counselor Top 40 distributor Brown and Bigelow has announced the acquisition of the Adcentive Group, expanding the company's presence in San Diego and throughout Southern California. Financial terms of the deal were not disclosed, but the Adcentive Group will keep its name and become a division of Brown and Bigelow. Robert Jorgensen, president of the Adcentive Group, will also maintain his title for one year to manage the transition. Combined, the two companies reported 2009 revenues of over 60 million dollars. Now to economic news where data shows capital investments rose sharply in September jumping 23 percent compared to a year ago. The improvement is the largest year-over-year -year monthly rise since 2008 driven this time by upgrades in technology and health care equipment. According to a national lending group 5.8 billion dollars was granted to businesses last month through loans, leases and lines of credit all intended for investment in capital equipment. Roughly 72 percent of all credit applications were approved in September, up from 68% a year ago. We continue now with a bizarre ad specialty accident from Pennsylvania where a six-year-old girl had to be hospitalized. The girl was drinking from an aluminum water bottle when her tongue got stuck inside. The bottle supplied by California-based manufacturer TJ Promotions is a popular shape with metal grooves at the neck and a canteen screw in the cap. Print Globe, an unlisted Texas company that distributed the bottle, has decided to pull the product from its catalog and has contacted each of its suppliers to alert them of the incident. The little girl was in intensive care for three days, but she is now recovering well at home. And finally this week, after falling slightly in September, consumer confidence has again increased here in October. In releasing its findings, a research firm said respondents were more optimistic about future business conditions and income levels. Nationally, the conference board's consumer confidence index now stands at 50.2 up from 48.6 last month. Remember, for the latest industry news and videos, check out Counselor Promogram and keep track of trends, happenings, and research on our ASI Central Facebook page and through Twitter. We hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, for Industry Update, I'm Dave Agnoni. Have a great day.